This is a uh, consolidated reporting example application I've called ABC Consolidated Reporting. And let's talk about the reasons of, of doing such a thing. Maybe your organization has multiple data sources and you don't have any consolidated way of viewing all the different information from, let's say, operations or marketing. So uh, I've simulated these separate applications in this one application and this marketing up here is for the marketing application and operations is for the operations. So they're very similar um, and what you have is common information. Who is the project manager? What's the project name? What is the status, the priorities, the, the budgeting um, versus actual dollars and dates of expectation, things like that. So over here, I need to pull the information from here and here into here so that I've got a consolidated view. So it will come in and fill in these fields. So how do we go about doing that? Well, right from the home page, if you click on um, the import-export link here, you can use import from table to table. And if you go out here, you're going to see I've already created these two. And if you edit one of these, let's say marketing, it shows you how it's mapped. And there's some helpful links in here for table to table. But you can see I'm using merge fields. So if this is, if I know this, update this record. I've set it for merging. You can also use this for copying. But I want this to be completely refreshed periodically, like every 15 minutes. So this information is going into this field. This one's going into this field. If I went into the um, other one, what you'd find is instead of marketing verbiage, it would have operations ver or verbiage, but it still needs to map over to a start date, for instance. Okay. So each one of these, this happens to be ID 15. The previous one I was just looking at was ID 14. If you hover over them, you can see the link at the bottom of the page, but that's uh, these are necessary to create. So let's go back to the home page and I'm going to step through the process. First of all, you've got the app here. Uh, step two is you navigate to that import list and then you find out what that number was and that was number 14. So now I'm creating a URL and here it is import 14. So I'm going to take this ID 14 and I'm going to use it to create a URL. And so here's your realm.quickbase.com, your database table. And it says run the import and don't forget to use this. So this is a URL that 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 is uh, um, very helpful. Let's click on it. And what's it say? Invalid application token. It needs the application token appended to the end of this. So let's go back. And that's what the next step is here. And you'll see that here, right here. Click. So I'm going to click on this URL and it says there were no errors. A total of six projects were read in, one existing project was updated, five existing projects were left unchanged. So this is the URL right up here that I'd like to use. But guess what? We're going to take this and put it into Google Scripts. So instead of me continually pressing this and refreshing, what I need to do is put it into Google Scripts and have Google Scripts do it. But there's one other step and that is the authentication. Google Scripts isn't authorized, so I need to append on the back of this the uh, username and password. And that's what this uh, next one is right down here. Now I'm going to click on this one and you can see it says and username equals Fred Flintstone and password equals secret123. Click. So in this scenario, if I move on over to the side, you can see that that is appended. So what I'm going to do is copy this, control A and control copy. And now we have to go over to the uh, Google scripts and log in. Now all you need to use for Google scripts, and this is a replacement for like a PHP server or a, some, some hosted kind of solution. Uh, you can do this for free with Google. All you need is a Google, Google account. So what I've got is um, this right here. So I've got a Google script um, location here and this code is uh, available in the in the app too. But you can see this is where I all you have to do is put your link in here. And as I move over here to Fred Flintstone and secret password, right? So all you're doing is substituting. That's what you want this to be refreshed with. Well, notice this one is 14 and this one is 15. 
So anyway, you can create these as a part of your Google script, but we are, we're not finished yet. The next part is that what you want to do is come up under resources and look at your triggers. Now, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can use this. You know, if Excel adds a record, this will do something. There's a whole bunch of Google specific things, but what we can do is click right here and create a time-driven event that maybe instead of hours is minutes, which means that every one minute, five minute, 10 minute, and you don't wanna overdo this, but let, let's say it's every minute so you see what, what I'm describing here. And by the way, you can click notifications and say, hey, I wanna be notified at a particular time uh, of the day should failures happen, and, we, and we'll say okay. So now all that exists, we, we click on save, and now it's ready to go. So we click on run, and now it's running this. Now let's go back to QuickBase and take a look at the, uh, the link where we're looking at the import list. Uh, actually, it's one step back from that, which is this one. 432, it says, and it's 432. So it's not really. <laughs> But this has been updated. If I wait one minute, and, and actually before I refresh this, let me pause just for a second, and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Now it says uh, 4.32. I waited till about uh, 4.34, so let me refresh this. And take a look down here. It has been changed by a minute. So one minute has gone by. It refreshed it. Uh, which is really powerful. Now you can close all your applications down, and uh, but the great news is is that you now have uh, consolidated reporting. So the information here is current up to the minute, going back to your other two applications. And you can see here because the data is merged, we have marketing and operations. So that's a way that you can use Google Scripts to automate a process that used to be something you'd have to have some IT skills to make happen. Um, this is uh, available in here, so you can review at any time.